Hey guys, this is Henry from Obedia again. Today we're going to keep working on our videos on Cubase, the digital audio workstation developed by Steinberg. So we're going to keep working on our audio connections um, window that you can find by clicking on the top menu, studio, audio connections. And we're going to talk about the third tab, which is the group and effects tab. Okay, so we already talked about inputs and outputs. These are typically analog inputs, analog outputs that let you put audio in and out of the computer. Now, group and effects, it's another routing that you're going to be using if you do more, let's say, more, more like mixing or I guess advanced uh, mixing. Okay. Uh, group and effects also let you route audio to certain locations, uh, but within the software. Okay. Typically within the software. Uh, when you do groups, uh, a group, as the name says, it's basically a, it's a bus that groups instruments of the same type, typically, into a return bus. So, for example, uh, you could create a group where you, quote unquote, group all the drum tracks. So, you would create a drums group, okay? And that's a serial processing, meaning that in series, the signal flow will flow, obviously, the, the, the signal will flow through these and get to the group in a serious fashion. Now, when you do FX, that is the same concept, but in a parallel fashion, meaning that you'll be using sends. Typically, groups you use to basically group together tracks of the same type, and typically FX you use for time-based effects um, for par parallel processing. Now, how do you create these? Well, once again, you go to your studio um, menu on the top menu bar, click on audio connections, go to your third one, two, three, the third tab, and there it is, add group. By default, there's no groups and no effects, okay? Uh, because um, we started from a fresh blank canvas, an empty project. So if we want to create a group, we click on add group, and here it is, so add group. So. Uh, configuration. It's going to be a stereo group. Okay. Uh, audio outputs is just going to go out to the stereo out. Uh, we're going to create it inside a folder and let's label it drums. Just one. So now you have a group called drums and it's a stereo group. You can see here it's, it's drum stereo and it's routed to stereo out. Okay. Um, now let's create an effects. So we click on add effects and now you have to assign an actual effect plug into it. So I'm going to go ahead and into, go into Rebirth and I'll do the room works. It's also going to be a stereo configuration. So the output will be stereo and it's going to be routed to the stereo out to the main output of Cubase. It's also going to be created inside a folder and we're going to label as long, oops, long verb because we're going to use it for Rebirth. Okay. So as soon as you create it, look what happens. It'll open that plugin. So now we can go ahead and tweak that to make it an actual long verb, like three second verb, 50 milliseconds, there it is, 24 millisecond, pre-delay, three second, reverb time. So that's, that you could say that's considered a long verb. Um, so that's how you create groups and effects in Cubase from your audio connections window, Okay. Uh, stay tuned for the next tutorials. We're going to keep working on the audio connections window and the other options that you have here. And if you have any other questions, please call us from Obedient PC Audio Labs and we'll be happy to help you. We will see you soon. Bye-bye. Want to learn how to produce music using this or using that or using all of these? Have you been watching videos, reading manuals, blogs, and trying to figure out everything that it takes to be a music producer? Do you have a bunch of music gear that you purchased and you still haven't made any music? Well, then you need Obedia, the world's only one-on-one -on -one digital audio training and tech support service. Check out the link below for a special new subscriber offer.